So a lot of people have asked me how I do line art so fast, and I think vectors are a big part of it because they're just so ridiculous, and I'll show you what I mean. To start making vectors, you have to first make a vector layer. So go over to the layers panel, and right next to the new layer button, there's a new vector layer, which has a box. So you just click on it, and now whatever you draw here will be made of vectors. So if I go to the pen tool and go to anything like textured pen, then I can draw a line like normal, and this will be made of vectors. Right now it looks like a normal line, but if I go over here and go to select object and click on it, then you can see that it's made of a bunch of nodes. You can manipulate this and scale or rotate it just like a normal transform tool. But the difference is that you won't lose any quality no matter how much you manipulate this. If this were made of pixels, then it would become blurry or pixelated, but not with vectors. You can also go over here at the bottom for more ways to manipulate this. If I go to pinch vector line for example, then I can click and drag on it to do stuff like this. If you select it, you can also change the nodes individually, but since pinch vector line also lets you select the pinch level, you can change multiple nodes at the same time, which makes it a lot more natural. So if I just select this and delete it, I can show you some other things you can do with vectors that you can't do with normal layers. So for example, if I draw on this like normal, then I get some overlap like this. Normally, you would have to go in and start erasing it up until the line. But Clip Studio Paint has a very helpful tool here called Vector Eraser. And if you get to the second option, which is Erase Up to Intersection, it'll automatically erase up to wherever it crosses onto another vector line. Just like that. It also comes in handy being able to manipulate each line individually. Like if I only want to change these two lines, then I can just select them and scale them properly. But if there were if they were made from pixels, then I would have to use the lasso tool, which isn't as precise or quick. There's also several other tools, especially in this toolbar, like correct line width, which lets you thicken or narrow line thickness. So you can adjust any part that you want without having to worry about losing pixels or losing the lines. There's a lot more you can do, and I always keep finding new things with Clip Studio Paint, but I think those are the basic functions that should help you with vectors. I'll finish up the line art for this drawing just to give an example. So you might notice that certain tools won't work on vector layers, like the fill bucket. Trying to use this will show an error symbol on it, and that's because it doesn't work with vectors. If you want to color in the lines, then you usually have to make another layer. Another normal layer and have to fill it normally. I think that vectors are really helpful for line art and it'll help a lot of people who are having trouble with that. So that's basically it. Hope this helps you and see y'all later.